you hope is going to be different on your third year as being the speaker for this tour? What do you hope will be expounded upon versus the last two years? Yeah, I think just personally, um, just being able to focus a lot more, uh, you know, honestly, on the, on the artists that are out and even just uh, on the prayer aspect. I just want to go deeper in my own life. Um, you know, when you go out on something as big as Winter Jam, you get really nervous, right? You're going to stand in front of all these people. And so I think my first year, definitely, I was really just like anxious and like, what's going to happen? I was just going to go. And last year, I think just getting a little bit more comfortable. And this year, I think just, you know, I feel more at home, uh, you know, with the new song guys, just with the heart of what's going on. And so I'm just really excited about like just journeying with, with God and like just with these bands, like just getting to be there for them and pray for them every night. And obviously just dreaming that more people would respond to Christ than ever before. Um, you know, I'm just praying for revival across America. And so that's really, really what we're going after. Is there a more specific mission statement or theme that changes on the tour each year? Yeah, you know, I think so. It seems like different years, different things will come out. Um, you know, I think uh, for me, I, there's really just kind of this theme of like a, a life that's being reset. You know, Newsboys, who's a headliner, they got one of their big songs is Restart. And so I think uh, it seems to be something of the theme of like God's offering this kind of fresh start. It's, um, I'm using it in my messages saying like there's a reset button that we have with our phone, our computer, Nintendo. And ultimately when we talk about Jesus, it's a supernatural reset that, that God offers. And uh, that's what Jesus came for. And uh, ultimately that we can have this new beginning, this life that we didn't deserve, that we didn't even have to earn, but that Jesus came and he offers it for us. And so... Um, yeah, I think that's something that has definitely emerged, even in what God's been doing in life. We've just seen these lives that really transform uh, from death to life, from darkness to light. But it's just something powerful that's going on. It's, it's amazing to be a part of it. Do you have any favorite stories from hanging out with the artists on the downtime for the last two years of tour? You're a family, you know, so I mean, there's so many late night conversations and just goofing around and seeing people just in elements that you would never imagine them in, right? I mean, um, a couple years ago, I loved seeing the skillet, um, like in worship on Sundays. Like, you see these guys all, like, you know, in their black and going up on stage with pyrotechnics and stuff, and then you see them in church, and they're just like hands in the air, just like crazy passion about Jesus, and like, I mean, that's awesome, and then just, you know, hanging out with all these guys, like just the different elements of laughing together and playing jokes on each other, and you know, a couple years ago, everybody was playing pranks on each other, and uh, somebody played a prank on uh, Peter Furler, you know, and uh, they listed an ad on Craigslist, <laughs> Um, and said uh, said that there was a industrial, like a really high quality industrial toilet that their construction company had like a hundred extras and it was cheaper for them to give them away than it was for them to whatever. So they said, uh, call Peter at this number. And so, and, uh, and it was like, and yes, and yes, we speak Spanish. Yes, I'm a Espanol. And so he ended up getting like just hundreds of voices. Of course, nobody knew it was Peter Furler's cell phone number that was on Craigslist. But you know, it was just, it's a fun time. I mean, you're just out there just loving life together and just going after it together. So, Are there any new artists that are going to be on tour this year that you're most excited to see perform every night? Yeah, you know, um, I think uh, Colton Dixon. Excited to uh, see him and just get to know him more. Um, excited to be out here with Lecrae and 10th Avenue North. I mean, they're both uh, groups that I love and love listening to and love uh, just the heart that's behind their music and what they do. Um, I mean, honestly, I think it's just an incredible lineup. I mean, you got Plum, you got TFK, you got these new artists, Ever Found, and Loving the Outcome. I mean, uh, I think it's just going to be an awesome, awesome year. I think it'll be the best year yet. And, uh, you know, I believe that because God always is doing a new thing. And, uh, man, there's always expectation that this year can be the best year, you know. And so uh, just praying and excited about what God wants this year on Winter Jam.